A Houston man has pleaded guilty to fraudulently obtaining 1.56 that is million dollars in PPP loans. So this is one of many cases of PPP fraud, leaving some business owners who need the money out of luck. Here's our consumer reporter Heather Sullivan. A Lamborghini, a Rolex watch, a Ford F-350. Those are just some of the things that a Houston man bought after fraudulently obtaining a $1.6 million PPP loan, money that was intended to help businesses survive the pandemic. It looked like you've already um, gotten a loan, and I said, I haven't. They said, well, it looked like you're on your second round to get a second loan. And I was like, I, I mean, I was like, are you serious? Sheree Young says she learned someone had taken out $40,000 in PPP loans in her name, preventing her from getting a loan for her wine and marketing businesses and charity organizations. As a person like me that really need the funds or needed the funds at the time and couldn't get the funds. So, I mean, I had to go in. Um, you know, like I say, take money from my savings. The Department of Justice says it has prosecuted more than 100 defendants for fraudulent PPP loans. Lee Price III of Houston just pled guilty to fraudulently obtaining $1.6 million in PPP loans, buying a Lamborghini Urus, a Ford F-350 and a Rolex, using the name of someone who died. A University of Texas report suggests one in six PPP loans is suspicious, but the Small Business Administration says it's much lower. In the case of PPP, it's less than half a percent of loans we even suspect were ineligible. And that the vast majority are helping real businesses. Here in Houston, we were averaging about 1,300 PPP loans every single day to small businesses, about $85 million every business day during COVID. So there were 350,000 businesses, give or take, that got those loans. Meantime, Young says she's had to work for months to clean up her credit report. I've had to write all three credit, all three credit bureaus and have to put locks, have locks put on my accounts. So every time something happens, I get an email or an alert to my phone letting me know that someone is trying to do something. The SBA says 33% of PPP loan recipients are still eligible to have those loans forgiven. Plus, there are a number of loans and grants still available to help businesses that are struggling, including the new Harris County Business Grant. I have links to help you apply for all of these on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox26Houston.com. Heather Sullivan, Fox26 News.